Welcome to this presentation about REACH 2018. My name is Safia Karati and I'm working at Chem Advisor in the Brussels office. I am a regulatory compliance specialist and I'm also involved in the REACH team in Chem Advisor. Today's presentation is focusing on an introduction about REACH registration 2018. We will briefly talk about your obligation, if you have some, to be REACH compliant. But before going deep into the topic, let me remind you what REACH stands for. Registration, of course, you have to know your role in the supply chain. Are you the manufacturer or the importer of the substance in the EU? Is your substance falling under the REACH requirement? If this is the case, you may have some obligation under the REACH regulation and you may have to register your substance. The E stands for evaluation. This process is carried out by ECA and the member states. Indeed, once you have submitted your registration dossier, it is reviewed by ECA and the member states, and you may be requested to provide more information according to the REACH regulation. The authorization and restriction processes are both carried out by uh, the member state and ECA. For the authorization process, you have two main steps. The first one is the identification of the SVHC substances. So the SVHC stands for substance of very high concern. If your substance is identified as a, an SVHC, you will have to notify ECA about the articles pro containing your SVHC substance. After the identification of an SVHC, your, the substance is put in a list, which is called the authorization list. And if this is the case for your substance, you will have to apply for an authorization. The restriction process is a partial or complete ban or the restriction of some uses. And chemicals, of course, the regulation is only dealing with chemicals. So the main aim of the REACH regulation is to improve the protection of the human health and the environment. In this, to collect all the information about substances in the EU market, REACH requires that chemical substances manufactured or imported into the EU in amounts equal or above one ton per year have to be registered with the European Chemical Agency. ECA. If you have to register your substance and you didn't, you, you won't be allowed to put your substance on the EU market, as it is stated in the Article 5 of REACH regulations. No data, no market. Going back to the registration, when is the next deadline coming? The next deadline for substances in a tonnage bin between 1 and 100 ton per year is in May 2018. As you can see on the slides, uh, there is different deadline for the registration of your substances depending on the hazard and the quantity of the substances. If you have to register your substance by 2018, you first have to pre-register your substance. It, the pre-registration process is briefly explained in the next slide. But shortly here, what we can say about this process is that it allows for all the companies which are producing or manufacturing the same substance to coordinate the, the work for the registration dossier. And this process will indeed allow to reduce the burden of testing and to reduce the number of full registration dossiers submitted to ECA. But before talking about registration, first, you have to ask yourself, do you have to register your substance? In order to respond, 
to this question, we provide you here three small questions that you have to ask yourself. So first, what is your role in the supplier chain? Are you the manufacturer or the importer of your substance in the EU? Are you producing or importing an article from which the substance is intended to be released? The second question is related to the tonnage of your substance. As I told you, REACH required the registration of substance above one metric ton per year. So you have to calculate your volume for the calendar year in order to know if you are above of this threshold or not. And the last question is regarding the exemptions from registration. Maybe your substance is a polymer and you don't have to register your substance. To be sure of this, you can find all the information for the exemption in the Annex 4 and Annex 5 of the REACH regulation. If you answer yes to those three questions, you will need to register your substance. A short talk about the non-EU company. So, the supplier chain outside EU of the EU does not exist in terms of the REACH requirements. Otherwise, that does not mean that you are exempted for all the REACH regulation. To comply with the REACH regulation, you may need to appoint a non-EU representative in the, e in the EU. But maybe do you have a legal entity in the EU? If this is the case, your EU subsidiary can do the registration for you. If it's not the case, maybe the importer can register for you, but only the substance which is imported. Or you may, as I told you, uh, you may need to appoint an only representative based in the EU. The only representative is a legal presence in Europe that will act on your behalf through the pre and registration processes. So indeed, the RR will be responsible for complying your substances with REACH. He will collect and submit all the data needed for each substance you manufacture or you import. He will maybe uh, put you in contact with some REACH expert to support your work and your duties under REACH regulation. He will contact and participate and even negotiate with the CF on your behalf. He will also be in contact with ECA for during all the negotiation of the process. And of course, it will submit your dossier by Euclid application through ReachIT. One important thing that you have to know, and if you will appoint an OR, you will then avoid dependence on a single importer for each substance. So now let's go deeply into the main topic of today. How could you have a successful registration? We will prepare you a list of eight steps that you are advised to follow if you want to succeed your registration obligation. The first step is the identification of your substances. You have to identify your substance by the cast number, the EU pack name, you have to know the molecular and the structural formula. You have also to know uh, the composition of your substance by doing analytical testing. You have also to know what type of substance according to which is your substance. Is it a monoconstituent, meaning that the main constituent uh, is above 80% of your substance? Or is it a multi-constituent, meaning that the main constituent are between 10 and 80%? Or maybe you have an UVCB substance, that means an unknown or variable composition and complex reaction products, like for the petroleum substances. Once you know the identity of your substance, you can contact your co-registrants 
Indeed, under the REACH regulation, you are obliged to work together with your co-registrant and you have to be part of the Substance Information Exchange Forum, called CIF. You have indeed to share the scientific data and to register jointly. One joint submission for each substance is therefore reducing the cost and avoiding unnecessary animal testing. You can contact ACA to have the information about your CIF. If your substance is already registered, you have to know who is the lead registrant of your substance. You can contact ACA and also check the information in the pre cif pages of which IT. If your substance is not registered yet, you have to find the contact data details of your potential co-register in the pre cif pages of ReachID. The third step is related to the pre-registration late, regi late registration. As I told you earlier, REACH provided a pre-registration phase which ended in December 2008. However, the company can benefit from a late pre-registration process, so you can still submit a pre-registration and benefit from the later REACH registration deadline 2018. However, you have to pay attention to the REACH regulation. If you have to pre-register, don't forget that you have to do this six months after the manufacturing or importing of the substance in quantity of one metric ton or more per year and no later than 12 months before the relevant registration deadline. In the, this case, for the rich registration deadline 2018, you have to pre-register your substance before the 31st of May 2017. Where do you have to put all the information? In a registration dossier, of course. The registration dossier is divided into parts. You first have, have the technical dossier, which is always required for all substances. This part contains the substance identity, the information about your manufacturing, the uses, and also cl the classification and labeling of your substance. The second part, which is called the chemical safety report, it's prepared after a chemical safety assessment, and this part is only required if you manufacture or import a substance in quantity of 10 tons or more per year. For these two, two parts, you have to prepare it in the Euclid 5. A few words about the chemical safety assessment. So, this is the process of collecting all the information about the hazard and the risk of your substance. You have to put all information and animal testing which is available about your substance, the risk management measure, the occupational conditions, and once again, all this data is required and is mandatory if you manufacture or import above 10 ton per year. So you will, after the chemical safety assessment, you will create a CSR. When you have created the CSR, you will generate an exposure assessment based uh, on the information, information that you have in the section 9 and 10 of the CSR. Again, you have two possibilities for this process. If your substance is not registered, then you have to first collect all the information about the uses and the condition of use that you collect from the supplier chain. You have also to collect all the hazard data has requested by reach information requirements depending on the tonnage and the uses of the substance. And the last but not least important thing is to agree on classification and labeling within the sieve. 
The second option is your substance is already registered and then you can ask directly to your consortium and your CIF to have access to the chemical safety assessment or chemical safety report document. Once you have all the information need, needed, you can create your registration dossier. As I say, you have to create it in the Euclid, to create it in the Euclid 5. So the Euclid 5 is a key software application which is essential for your company as a chemical industry if you want to comply with the rate regulation. You can download it on the website provided on this slide and it's free of charge. In the next year, ECA will release the new version of Euclid and it will be Euclid 6. When your registration dossier is created, you can submit it through Rich IT. So Rich IT is a tool which provides a secure communication between industry and ECA. So you can have a secure communication with ECA and ECA can help you during the registration dossier and the submission of your registration dossier. You can also download on the website provided on this slide. So the last step, but still it's one important step that you have as a company to keep in mind, is to keep your registration dossier up to date. As I said, after you, your submission, ECA and the member state are going to assess your registration dossier and you may be requested to provide more information if it's not compliant. So be proactive. Don't think that after registration you are free of work. You need to keep your registration up to date. Like, for example, editing new uses or maybe finding alternatives to your substance. Because you have to remind that reach uh, focus on the safe use of the chemicals in the EU market. So don't forget to update your registration whenever new information becomes available. And do not hesitate to ask ECA about its annual substance evaluation report. Well, this is the end of the presentation. I would like to thank you for your intention. If you have any more questions, do not hesitate to contact ChemAdvisor, either their headquarter in Pittsburgh at info at chemadvisor.com or the Brussels office at infoeu at chemadvisor.com. You can also check the ChemAdvisor website at www.chemadvisor.com. Thank you.